last time on how to make a bomb. I want to call a function. The function's going to be called my... This time on how to make a bot. Good evening, everyone. So um, I've had a couple of questions asked me about how do I do random clicks and how do I make my uh, my bot undetectable? Easy. Don't make it look like a bot. What do I mean? I mean modulate it. Um, the reason a lot of bots get caught and a lot of people like are, oh, you're a bot, is because you're doing a repeated task. You might not even be botting, and because you're still doing that repetitive task, somebody's like, ooh, is he, is he using a bot? So one thing I've shown you how to do is how to go through and create your bots from, hold on, from step one to step 100, whatever it was and how to loop that specific point. What I haven't shown you is how to modulate those and make each one its own individual bot. So that's what we're gonna do. Um, right here, I've taken our, our main loop and I've modulated. Uh, I left out the last one because I actually found somebody else that was botting the exact same thing that I was, so I'm not going to show you that one. So. Um, right here, we did the shrimp run bot. Uh, you can go and watch the other tutorials on how to do those. Um, we've done the glitter bot, and uh, I haven't shown you the coal bot yet. And this one's going to be the fishing urn bot. So I've got four bots that I've functioned out, and each one is its own run. So like the shrimp run bot, if we go and look at the function, find function shrimp run. Oops. Oh, not in selected text. Find. All right, so down here, I've got a bot that I've already created and built. And instead of um, leaving it up there in my main loop, I've taken it and I've put it into a function called shrimp run bot. Um, difference in between this bot and the other ones that you'll see is its starting point teleports. So we've got the teleport already in there. Sorry, I was all big. Already in there to make us travel to that particular point. Uh, something else I haven't shown you is um, the way that we click. Oh, hold on. Got to type in my password. Oh, I typed it down on screen. That was nice. Super secret squirrel 2019 at one. I am awesome, period. Just kidding. That's not actually my password. All right. Okay, here we go. So one thing that I did show you was the reset view, right? Where it goes like this and it resets the view, right? So if you have to click north or if you have to click south, you only get this little bitty area that you can actually click on. Oh, you guys can't see my mouse again. Darn it. <laughs> How do I correct that? Here, I'll use my finder tool. So you can only go up to here, right around here. You can only go down to here and around this area unless you were to hide the UIs and then you get a little bit more room. So how do we get past that? We're going to call what I... Uh, I'm, I created a couple of functions called north to east, north to south north to west. And what that does, it takes and drags this middle around like that. And it does it for 290 pixels, I think. I'll have to go and look at the function. Uh, there we go. But what that does is on your left and right sides, you've got a lot more area to play with, a lot more travel room. So you're going to be doing a lot less clicks. So if you have to travel north, point the north to the east, that way it's it's like up and down and not side to side. And then whenever you get to your destination or if you have to make a turn, you can always reset the view and point the north to a different direction or point it back to reset view. Um, you'll see that in the second part of the bots. So back to the script. Um, I've got a fishing urn bot. I've got a coal run bot, and I've got another bot that I'm going to show you all at once. What makes this significantly awesome is the fact that we're going to be doing a whole slew of bots. There's going to be 
four different bots running. They're not going to be going at the same time. Uh, if I wanted to, if I wanted to do the shrimp bot like say three times, I could do four uh, x equals one, two, three. I wouldn't call it x. I'd call it something else like shrimp counter or something. Next. So it would run three times. Uh, same thing with this. I actually have a bot. Uh, not really a bot. It's a point to point. It teleports to a specific spot and then gets to the starting point for the mining bot. This one, the run to coal bot start point. It runs to the, the specific point where I started making the bot for the coal run bot. Uh, same thing with the run bot. This one actually is a lot easier because I just used this glitter run bot and then once I got to that destination, I was able to use something else. So you can start linking these points together um, so you, your bot can run all over the place. Anyhow, with that said, I'm going to show you what this looks like. Uh, we're going to leave that one commented out. So we're going to do the shrimp bot. We're going to do the, the glitter run bot, which is inside the mine. Uh, we're going to do the coal run bot, and we're going to do the fishing urn. With these four bots in a row, I'm going to be gaining uh, fishing, cooking, mining, smithing, uh, a little bit of gold, crafting, and I think there's one more. Anyhow, um, hopefully I can time lapse it and you guys won't get too bored with it. But here it goes. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, let's go drop off our stuff. I've got a whole bunch of stuff in my my thing right now. And that's, that's the other great thing, is as long as you're dropping off or depositing into a bank at one point in your bots, which my coal run bot does, he'll drop off all the inventory that gets stuck from events like Valentine's Day. So, drop everything off. There we go. And let's start the bot. Uh, I will time-lapse this so it doesn't get boring. First things first, he's going to be doing the shrimp run bot. And here we go. Looks like he's just finished his first little run. He's got to go cook the shrimp. Come on, buddy. Click on it. Oh, I didn't have RuneScape activated. Darn it. All right, he's falling behind. He's falling behind. It's because I'm clicking over here on my video stuff. Hopefully he gets these cooked. Please, please get them cooked in time. If not, he'll just sell off the rest of them. That's okay. The point of the bot is to show you how to not look like a bot. And that's by putting in multiple runs and going to different places. Uh, something else that you can do is on the path to get to your bot point, make three or four of them. Like, don't make what just one. Been stacking? Don't make just one path. Make significant paths, like three paths. All right, so he just sold. Good. Now he's going to teleport, but this isn't the shrimp run. This is actually part of the uh, the run to glitter bot start point. This is the second part of the bot. Now this one I had not programmed the north and south, uh, north to south, north to east yet. So this one's still a long run. <laughs> There we go. 
Tobias. 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 Hello there, Tobias. So now that we are at the starting point for the glitter bot, he's going to click into the mine and time lapse. <laughs> for the door. Oh, I missed it. Oh, well. All right, so with this bot, he's going to go... Oh, I've demonstrated this before. He smelts it all down. We're going to have two left over. That's okay. He'll sell them off. The next spot is the more significant one. It's the coal run. Uh, my character happens to be high enough level that I can mine coal. Which, by the way, I did not bot. It took a really long time to do. Rune mining pickaxe is awesome. Runed pickaxe. Runed hatchet is pretty cool, too. Alright, so now he's going to smith and make the bronze plate armor. We're only going to get two out of it because I didn't get the whole thing. Hi, I leveled up smithing. All right. Now he's going to click on Tobias. Just he's going to sell all that off. Hello, Tobias. I need mining supplies. What do you got to sell? I got all this, sir. Click that. Click the max. Sell. Click that. Click the max. Sell. And one more. Click that. And the max. And sell. Perfect. So now it should close it out. Oh, one more. Just in case we had ten. And one more. That doesn't look right. Alright, so close that. Now we're going to start the run to our coal bot. Again, this is something I've programmed out. i created the teleport function, uh, and then I created each step. Uh, this is the one that uses north to east and north to south. Alright, so... Resets view, turn to the right. Now he's able to click way off there in the distance. So again, we don't quite look like a bot, but we're not clicking on the map. Um, by the way, I have tried to get the map clicks to work correctly. They seem to be off every single time. So unless you can get it to an approximate location within a significant area, and then do like a pixel search, maybe. All right, and then he clicks up there, clicks in front of the first banker, or the last banker if you're looking to the north. And now he starts his coal run bot. And again, we could loot this this one like three, four times. And here he goes. And I will time lapse now. <laughs>
Killing it. Kill it. Kill it. Let's go check out our... Uh, let's go check out our script for the coal bot. See what happened to him here. Is he counting too fast? Is that what's going on? Fishing earn bot. Let's see. Here we go. Coal run bot right here. So we start first at the banker. Travel to the mine shaft north ladder. Start mining run right here. We reset the view. Left click. Still mining is set to true. While still mining, we search for coal, which is another function that I created right down here. Search for coal. Searching equals true. While searching, we do a pixel search for the glitter. If not at error, searching equals false. Okay, so we left click and we set searching equal to false. And then it comes back up here. Uh, searching for coal. And then we call wait for mining, which should be the function right after that. Wait for mining. We'll change to an actual aha later. I actually changed that. Wait on equals true. Uh, we check for full inventory. INV full diag. Pixel search for the dialog box. If it's not true, uh, if not an error, which means we found it, counter equals one. Ah, if inventory is full, counter is set to 1. So, otherwise, counter is 500, and we wait. Um, I'm actually going to change this. We're going to do a timed wait instead of... Oh, there's no or there. All right, so let's go ahead and click over there. How do we get the time? Time, current time. Uh, F1. Time. Time and date macros. Timer and delay management. Time diff. Returns the difference in time from a previous time. Call timer int. Return timer int pass. Uh, seconds. Value of clock. All right. So, counter equals at sec. So this will get the exact second that we're on. Oh, we don't want that. We want minute. Huh. Okay. Timer int. Uh, da, da, da. H timer equals timer. We begin the timer. Store the handle in the variable. H timer. Local if diff uh, timer diff. H timer diff. Find the difference from the previous timer to this timer. There we go. That'll work. Let's do that. So counter equals, what do we say? Timer int? Timer int. Timer int, like that. All right. We're going to take that out. Put that as zero. So, if not at error or counter equals zero, which would be set up here, or counter equals
timer diff hold on f diff equals timer diff or if timer diff counter is greater than 3,000. That'd be, no, 5,000. 10,000? 10 seconds? 5 seconds? 7 seconds. 7,000. So if timer diff is greater than 7,000, then wait on equals false. All right, there we go. So uh, since we've already done this first two um, and this one, I'm going to mark those out. We're just going to do the coal run by itself. All right, run back upstairs. Back, 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 back. <coughs> Come on, upstairs, upstairs, upstairs. Come on. Back over here. Back to the bank. Back, 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 back. Hopefully this will fix our coal run bot. Talk to him, talk to him, talk to him. Yeah, yeah. There we go. All right, let's do this. <laughs> So now his inventory is full. He's going to try and click on one more, but that dialog box is going to pop up. We're going to see it, click on it, acknowledge that we are ready to run back to the bank. <sighs> really? Oh, there we go. Okay. Inventory is full. Hit OK. Or he doesn't hit OK. He just starts traveling. Heads back to the left. I have had him get stuck at the top up there, but not often. He sees the red. He clicks on the red. We can't go into the red because we don't have dungeoneering points. If you do have dungeoneering points, I suggest not clicking on the red. Maybe find the red and click like 10 down. All right. Now, this is the significant part. Instead of looping this bot again, we should be doing another run, a different run. Like I said, it's okay if you get extra stuff in your inventory as long as you're making a bank drop at some point. Come on. Drop. Drop. Boop. There we go. Now we're going to teleport out. And now he's going to do a fishing urn run. Hopefully, knock on wood, that this one's been... Because I, I didn't spend too much time figuring this one out. Crafted goods. Want to give it a try? I wonder what he does. What does he do? Does he go and collect clay? Is that what he does? <sighs> he collects clay. 
Reset view. Time lapse. Don't click on the subscribe button, please. Okay, he knows that his inventory's full. He did. No! Seriously? All right, clean the bot. Ugh. Get off of there, Jogux. All right. Do, 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 do. Home. Click out. It, it, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Because we're just going to start it at that area. We've already got the run done. Here, actually. Sure. I'm just going to... Take all of this. Here. This way you can see that it loops. Come on, come on, go back to this guy. Go back to this guy. There we go. You'd be surprised how much the people. I'm of not surprised. Crafted goods. I'm not. Well, give it a try. No, not really. All right, click him in. Since we have full inventory, he should just run straight over there. Like he's not going to look for the other thing. Well, he's not going to wait for the clay. He's just going to click. It's going to say, "Hey, you're full." It's going to go, oh, "Okay." And now it should click out. Come on. There we go. Resets the view. We reset it back. Now he clicks over here. Waits for a little bit of a run. Clicks on the well. He's going to go water all the clay. There we go. I think I put a bigger delay on this one because of the uh, the lag I was experiencing that day. But you can adjust it. Okay, so now we should click on the pottery wheel up there at the left. Good. Should make bowls. Or is it fishing urns? I don't remember. He didn't finish them all. That's okay. Let's put these down here. There 
we go. Move that around a little bit so it's a little bit more even when our inventory pops up. All right, so he's done with that. You'd be surprised how much the people of Berthel. Not really surprised. There we go. Now he's going back for the shrimp run. So this has been how to make your bot not look like a bot, and that's simple. Just do a lot of different things to make it look like there's a human plane. Um, some significant things that set off bot detectors are how long a player's been playing. Uh, what you might do is create a bot that logs out after um, four hours of play, waits for 15 minutes, and then logs back in and continues. Um, something else is don't do a repetitive movement a whole bunch of times. Uh, you could set the, each one of these functions up on a randomizer where your bot will pick something to do for five, ten minutes and then go do something else once it's done with its runs. And you could set those to um, as many as you'd like. Do a whole bunch of different things uh, without too much error and always ends up at the same spot. You'll all, like, you can make your bot not look like a bot. But again, this is this is not meant to be a gold farming bot. This is not meant to get you a significant amount of experience in X amount of time. This is simply to keep your character playing while you're not there. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. If not, there's not anything I can do about it. But thank you for watching anyway. Uh, like and subscribe. Comments down below. Have a good night. Bye. No! Run! <laughs> Don't get ran over! It's a puppy! Hey, puppy! Oh. <laughs>